guys, welcome to the JHP Show. My name is JHP, and today I'm going to be doing my very first Let's Play of Resident Evil. This is one of my favorite PlayStation 1 games, and let's just get right started. Resident Evil. <coughs> now for this Let's Play, I'm going to be... She is awesome, and you get to hang out with Barry. Alpha Team is flying around the situated in Northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle Chris, of our mission. You found it? No, I haven't found it yet. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about 10 people. Victims were apparently eaten. Bravo Team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. Look, Chris! It was Bravo Team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why. Chris Redfield. Jill Valentine. Barry Burton. Rebecca Chambers. Albert Wesker. Resident Evil. What is this? Wow, what a mansion! Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Stop it! Don't open that door! But Chris is... What is it? Maybe it's Chris. Now, Jill, can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. Okay, let me handle this. Stay alert!
A dining room. I just want to say, like, when I first saw that, that shit blew my mind with the first, with the uh, live action stuff. And man, just seeing it, like, again, it's so cheesy, but I love it so much. And I just love the voice acting so much. But uh, we're about to unlock another cutscene because we're going to have the world famous. Well, let me get my gun. The world famous blood scene. What? What is this? What is it? Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Hope this is not Chris's blood. Oh, man, I love it. I love it so much. But, uh, yeah, we're about to see the first... Which is a very iconic scene, and... You know... It's kinda... It's kinda bad nowadays, but back then, this blew everyone's mind. There he is. I'm gonna run away. Barry, you deal with it. I ain't dealing with that shit. Barry? What is it? Watch out! It's a monster! Let me take care of this. What is it? Kenneth was killed too. Maybe by this creature. Anyway, let's report this to Wesker. And we shall report this to Wesker. But uh oh. Shit's about to go down. Wesker! Help me look for him, Jill. And don't leave this hall for the time being. I just... I just love, like, this entire thing going on with the mansion and everything like that. Like, back in the day, like, I get today this kind of looks dated, but my god, back in the day this was such a beautiful game. Get another famous quote from. Find Barry anything, Burton. Jill? Nothing. What is this all about? I can't figure it out at all. Beats me, too. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know what's going on. Well, it can't be helped. Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Okay, I'll try the door on the opposite side. This mansion is gigantic. We could get into trouble if we get lost. We should start from the first floor, okay? And... Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Thanks. Maybe I'll need it. Listen. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Right on, bro. This time, I'll be there. Ah, uh, Barry's such a sweetheart, so I know I was supposed to be going that way. But instead, I'm gonna go back to the dining hall. And uh, we're gonna see, we're just gonna see where Barry is. And also, we gotta go back there to get some, uh, some helpful items. Now, that clock ticking is, was really annoying, and I remember playing this game with my friends over at a neighbor's house, and he just got tired of that clicking and that ticking, and he just, oh man, it was not fun, but I, I kinda laughed. But yeah, we're getting that shield, and we're gonna be getting some ammunition, because Getting ammo is very, very helpful in this game. 
unfortunately, this is the body of Kenneth, and uh, he's from Bravo, Bravo Team. Such a shame. We're going to get uh, two clips from him, actually. And, uh, yeah. So, if you guys didn't know, this is the very first video game I have ever played in my entire life. I remember when I was five years old. It was one of my early childhood memories that I still remember to this day. And I remember sneaking into my brother's room and turning on this game. Now, it was a movie because, like, you see that uh, live action uh, thing. And I thought it was just a movie. I didn't know any better. But then I realized, oh, it's a game, and I, uh, I played like shit, I didn't know how to move, and, uh, I'm pretty sure I just died from the first zombie, but, uh, yeah, ever since then, you know, uh, I don't know where I would be as a gamer if I did not play this game. Now, there is a map right up there, but I do not need it, because I've played this game so many times, and we're actually going to get an ink ribbon because we got to save when we can. There is a zombie right there. And uh, I'm hoping to kill him because I just don't want to lose any kind of health. Get off me. How dare you grab a lady. Yeah, we're going to get some ink ribbons, which is very, very helpful. By the way, Ink Ribbon, he's a pretty cool guy on YouTube. Check him out. But, uh, if the opening cinematic didn't scare you enough, get ready to view. And if the uh, first zombie didn't sh make you shit your pants, here is the uh, world famous scene that made everybody shit their pants when they first played this game. I did not because I'm a man. I'm just going to reset the room, and yeah. We are going to kill that thing, though. By the way, uh, in this hallway, the uh, paper wall, wallpaper, paper thing, uh, that's actually inspired by The Shining, which is a really cool movie. I hear Doctor Sleep is really good, too, but I haven't seen it. Anyways, unfortunately, puppy, we're going to put you down. Hold the other step. There's going to be another one. So yeah, not only did you have to deal with that thing, but once you managed to kill it, you had to deal with another. And that was a pain in the ass. And there is a clip of ammo underneath here. Now I get it. I... I'm kind of logic with the Resident Evil games, but it's a game, honestly, and you kind of got to deal with it. It is kind of weird though, but yeah. There is a herb right here. I don't know why here in America we call it herbs. I've always called it herbs. Also, I really love this shot. Like, you get to see the full model and everything. Like, yeah, this is just a really nice shot. And uh, in the DS game, uh, you can use the. Uh, Touch pet, touch green, and touch like her butt, and she like reacts, and it's kind of funny. Also, here's Jill's bitch pose. Yeah, she does this often. Uh, that door is locked, but we are going into the only bathroom in this mansion. If there was thing something in here, and uh, in the remake, there was some really cool shit. That happened with the bathtub where the zombie just comes out, and it's just awesome. We get to see our reflection, looking pretty cool. But that is a, but that, the pictures on the wall there, that is just really weird. And I don't know why, but that one looks like a penis. And I guess if you want to see the toilet, there it is. It's nothing useful. But uh, yeah, a 
let's move on. Scenes ever in this entire game. We're gonna be going to the best cutscene ever, and we're gonna get a very good weapon. Now, if you've played this game before, you probably recognize it. And if you haven't, you probably recognize it as well. Well, we're gonna get the shotgun. <coughs> Sorry about that. And what's gonna happen in here? Oh my god. Maybe we should put the shotgun back. Oh no, it's smoked again. Shit. What do I do? I'm oh, just gonna run the circles. One square back. Hey! What's going on? Jill? Is that you, Jill? What happened? Perry? Help me, please! The door won't open! Quick! Stay away from the door, Jill. I'm gonna kick this door down. Hurry! This way! Oh, Barry! That was too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> You're right! Barry, thanks for saving my life. But Barry, didn't you say you're going back to the dining room to do some research? Why on earth are you here? Uh, I just had something I wanted to check. Now, let's get back to searching for the lost captain and Chris, shall we? Thank you, Barry. Yeah, yeah. I would also like to ask, well, Barry, you know, I went back there and I saw you were just flat out missing, so what the hell happened with that? As I'm here. Uh, 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 down, Mr. Whatever your name is, I'm gonna call you Smith. Are you done? Thank you. First save room. And we're not going to be saving yet. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to stop this, but I will let you know when I do. There will be a part two because I'm not going to play this all night. I could if I wanted to, but I don't, I don't know. We'll see. Put the shield back here and you get two more clips, which is pretty fucking sweet. And then we gotta get this because this is very important when we go into the other room to get a key. 
or the master of unlocking, but we still need keys. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Going up the stairs. Slow as hell. I get it, it's a loading screen, but if that was me, I would be up there like like the flash. Hey zombie buddy. I got a present for you. Take a cow. Bitch ass. We're going to get another herb in this room. to combine it to make a super herb. Brandon Walker. I do. He's dead. He had it coming. Yeah, I unlocked it. Now, if you saw a door in there, the doorknob is broken, and there's really nothing in there. It's a book that teaches you how to do spurs and shit. Uh, I never know how to, so yeah. It's also, I believe, in the manual, too. Cutscenes of all time. Barry! Jill! What's going on? Any clues? No, but something's wrong with this house. Whoa! This hall is dangerous! Maybe it's better to secure our escape route first. There must be a back door somewhere. Let's try to find it first, shall we? Okay. Let's separate again. Just a moment. I found something. What is it? It's a weapon. It's really powerful, especially against living things. Better take it with you. But how about you, Barry? I have this. Thank you. I'll take this then. We got some acid rounds. Later, Barry. But yeah, that is some top notch quality voice acting if I've ever heard of anything. You thought Cowboy Bebop had some amazing voice acting? Huh. Resident Evil just knocks it out of the park. I absolutely love the song that plays in here when you uh, go into this room. And this is one of the few rooms that actually scared me as a kid because of the music and just seeing the blood. Like, I had no idea what the fuck was going on. And that's just kind of the greatness that is Resident Evil because, like, the fear of the unknown is real with this game. How effective it is. It's not scary today. Like, it's obviously aged, but you know, back in the day, this was a movie. You probably heard me say back in the day a lot. Uh, yeah, it's cool. But we're gonna get a bazooka. And that is Forrest, and he got pecked to death. 
pecked to death by a bunch of crows. It's kind of disgusting, but I don't want to activate any crows, so I'm just going to get the hell out of here. And unfortunately, we don't see the crows ever again. But, yeah. Unfortunately, we don't hear that song ever again. And I wish we got to hear that in other rooms, but it is what it is. But anyways, we are going to get, be getting the four crests to unlock the back door so we can get to the warehouse. And we got to do a lot of puzzles and shit. You, you are going to die, but we're going to keep your friend alive, okay? That's a fair deal. Stay dead. Let me go. Wait, there you go. thinking why not just kill the guy. Uh, I want to save my ammo and you gotta save your ammo in this type of game or else you're fucked. Because like yeah, and dealing with zombie dogs without ammo is not a good thing. Come on. I'm gonna call you Bub. And I'm gonna call you Bub every time I come back here. save room with uh, a really cool save room theme personally I think they did it better in the uh, remake but this one is still really good and I like the other save room themes more but yeah uh, we don't need the bazooka right away so we're just gonna put that away and uh, yeah we should be good and then we got more ink ribbons which is very very handy if you want to save in this game This is the armor key. Which is really nice. And uh, yeah. 
And there's a bunch of herbs in here, which we're going to be doing some backtracking. And, uh, yeah, because health is very important in this game as well. And, uh, yeah. But, yeah, I, I just, I really love this game, mainly because, like, it's just so much fun, like, with the puzzles and shit, and the cheesy voice acting. Like, I just have so much nostalgia for this game. Uh, Jill and Barry are awesome characters, and, you know, maybe I will play as Chris one of these days, but, I don't know, I just feel like playing as Jill because she's my fave in this one. And plus, you get to hang out with Barry, and in, uh... Chris's game, you get to hang out with Rebecca, and Rebecca's cool and all, but she maces you in the face when you first meet her, and that's just rude. But Barry is, Barry is a sweetheart of a man. If, uh, you ever heard of William Regal's, uh, first theme in the WWF, uh, I'm a man, yeah, that would be Barry Burns' entrance music if he was a wrestler. Like, I swear. Uh, we're going to use this herb because I want to be fully fine, especially because we're going to go up against a boss, and there is a red herb right there, but yeah, we're going to be putting these herbs back in the case, and yeah. The music in this game is also fantastic, like I just love it. Uh, I saw that you can get vinyl soundtracks of Resident Evil 2 and 3, and I really want to get that, but I don't have a vinyl record player, which is kind of ass, but yeah. We've used the armored key, and we're going into some kind of storage room. I don't know, I don't know what kind of room this is. It kind of looks like an interrogation room. We used the lockpick, and we got some shotgun shells. Absolutely, we're taking that. Because the shotgun in this game is quite honestly the best weapon in the game. You just pop their heads off and they're good. But you really should get, you know, like, keep your handgun ammo just in case. But yeah, I remember uh, playing this game as a kid all the time and just not knowing how to shoot or whatever, like I would always die. And it wouldn't be until Resident Evil 2 on the N64 is when I first learned how to shoot the shoot in the game. And I never played this game until I was in third grade, I think. And that's when I finally realized, found out how to shoot, and that's when I first beat the game. I was nine years old, I think. And yeah, I just have so many good memories with this game. Uh, yeah, I have more memories with the uh, other games in this uh, franchise and you probably have heard me say it before but Resident Evil 2 is my favorite game of all time but this is right up there in my ranking of uh, the Resident Evil games which I am doing uh, but I want to do a let's play of the mainline Resident Evil games so 1, 2, 3, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7 and I'm going to include Code Veronica X and 0 so stay tuned for that because I do believe they're in the main kind of storyline. It's just I'm not going to be doing Let's Plays of Dead Aim, Survivor, uh, Revelation series. I might do those down the line. It's just I want to get the main line series done first. And, uh, yeah. That is what I'm going to do. But we're going to be getting our first mask. A couple of ma uh, not masks. I'm thinking about Resident Evil Remake. But we're going to be getting our first crests here. But first we're going to pay a visit to uh, a zombie in a closet. Now I don't want to deal with you because you can die. We've used a lockpick. I love the loading screen in this game, it's just the door and the blackness around it, and it's like, oh god, what is in the next room? I just love the suspense, and I just love the horror and the atmosphere. It's just, this game is so great. Like, I, and I do get why people don't like these types of games, because of the tank controls and stuff like that. But I don't know, if you get used to it, this is still, still a really good game. I, 
I would read the uh, diaries of the people, but I don't really feel like it. And uh, yeah, but this is the famous itchy tasty one. Here's diary. At night, we played poker with Scott the guard, Elias, and Steve the researcher. Steve was really lucky, but I think he was cheating. What a scumbag. Today, a high-ranking researcher asked me to take care of a new monster. It looks like a gorilla without any skin. They told me to feed them to the f feed them live food. When I threw in a pig, they were playing with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before they actually ate it. This morning, Scott came in and woke me up. Suddenly, he was wearing a protection suit that looks like a spacesuit. He told me to put it on as well. I heard there was an accident in the basement lab. It's no wonder that those researchers never rest, even at night. I've been wearing this annoying spacesuit since yesterday. My skin grows musty and feels very itchy. By what looks today. Now I feel better. Hell yeah, with revenge. <clears throat> I went to the medical room because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on my back. I guess I can sleep well tonight. When I woke up this morning, I found another blister on my foot. It was annoying and I ended up dragging my foot as I went to the dog's pen. They've been quite they've been quiet since morning, which is very unusual. I found some off some of them had escaped. I'll be in real trouble if the find out. Even though I did not feel well, I decided to go to see Nancy. It's my first day off in a long time, but I was stopped by the guards on the way out. They say the company has ordered that no one leaves the grounds. I can't even make a phone call. What kind of joke is this? I heard a researcher who tried to escape from this mansion was shot last night. My entire body feels burnt, burning and itchy at night. When I was scratching the swelling on my arm, a lump of rotten flesh dropped off. What the hell is happening to me? Uh, fever gone but itchy. Hungry and eat doggy food. Itchy, itchy. Scotty came. Ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. Four, itchy, tasty. I love that so much because it's just, it's him turning into a zombie. And unfortunately, he had to blow his brains out, but it is what it is. Have you ever seen the movie of uh, VHS? Uh, VHS 2 is a really good one. And it's about uh, these uh, found footage movies, kind of like Blair Witch Project. And uh, one of them was about a dude turning into a zombie. Uh, that always reminded me of this game. We've unlocked the door, and we're going to be getting crests. We're going to get one from the taiga. And then we got to go back to the store to the save room and get a uh, get our shield. So we can go play some piano music. The blue jam is so cool. section below because yeah this is one of the best games ever 
why did I go into that room? We don't need to go into that room ever again, but I guess we did. to this room yet, but we will eventually. And I just, I've always loved this door, like just the design of this door. I thought it looked so cool. Now I believe, I, I've always thought that there was a herb in here, but there isn't. It's just that plant. Maybe it's some kind of Mandela effect, I don't know. But we are going to be getting the music notes, and I completely forgot about the shield. I'm such a dumbass. But hey, at least we got the music notes. So, uh, for anime reviews, I have been watching, uh, my Bride with a Mermaid, but I'm going to be doing a review of Oko's Inn tomorrow, maybe. Uh, it depends on what I gotta do tomorrow and all that. But uh, Oko's Inn, not a bad movie if uh, you just want my thoughts. And speaking of movies, please check out my Stardust if you want to hear my 30 second rambles on movies that I've recently seen. I did one for the old guard, and uh, I would tell you my opinion right now, but I think it would be better for you to go check out that, uh, that video, so we got the emerald, the emblem, shield, and we're going to go get another shield. And we're going to play some uh, Moonlight Sonata, which is a really awesome song. Which is weird coming from a guy who genuinely likes metal music and like all that kind of stuff but i really do like listening to some beethoven every once in a while i don't know why it just keep, keeps me in a calming mood and moonlight sonata is such an awesome song as a matter of fact i once tried to learn that song on the piano and it just never worked out some piano playing. Now if you were Chris, you would not be able to do this right away. You had to wait for Rebecca to do it and she kind of sucks at the piano. shield uh oh no we're trapped in here but if we just put the regular one right here we're free i've always wanted an angle on this side i've always wanted to know what the hell was in here i think it's uh some kind of garden but i don't know 
I wish to see what was on there. And uh, we're going to be getting another key. And that's going to be for the Richard, but we're not going to be doing that yet. We're going to get the other uh, crests before we do anything with Richard and the big giant snake, which is called Yon for some reason. I've always called it a giant snake. Oh, and uh, in my uh, Resident Evil uh, Let's Plays uh, with the mainline stories, mainline series, I'm not sure if I'll do the remake. Uh, let me know if you want me to do it, because I will because the Resident Evil remake, the first Resident Evil remake is fucking amazing. As a matter of fact, I think it's better than this game, but this game is still like masterpiece level. But uh, yeah, and I'll, I might do uh, remake two and three if you really want me to, but I, my intentions is to do just the mainline series from one through seven and Code Veronica X and zero. Here is some ugly ass modeling for this dog. I don't know why, but it just looks like lasagna. That's not scary at all, and uh, yeah. But we're gonna go get another crust. Again, with a slow ass walking up those stairs. like these these just look awesome and this is a very easy puzzle if you have never done it before you just got to cover up these uh, things over here and make sure poisonous gas doesn't come through and then you get a uh, crust I believe it's the sun crust or it might be the star crust I'm not sure I don't remember it's been a while fuck you there's a switch on the floor will you push it Absolutely. We got the sun crest. Kind of close considering the fact that the sun is a star, so that's kind of cool. And uh, we're going to go into uh, that room again, uh, the one we had, didn't go to in that hall. Uh, but we gotta go down here to put some stuff in the item box. Excuse me, zombie. Still kind of mad at you that you attacked me, but it is what it is. I don't turn into a zombie anyway. Because this because we don't really need it yet and uh we're gonna put away the gun the handgun um we are gonna get it back but just so we can put some items in here because we're gonna be going in a lighter and shit guarantee if this was real life that zombie would have already gotten you
But yeah, this is a fucking weird ass mansion, if I ask you. Now, I've been in some big houses before, but I've never been in a house like, like this one. Like, I do all these kind of crusts and shit. There's only one bathroom. And, uh, yeah. It's kind of weird because you got this big ass mansion and only one bathroom. And then you got like 7,000 different cooks uh, coming up the stairs because the kitchen's downstairs. People work here, and there's only one bathroom, and it's like, where do they all go? No, it's kind of, it's kind of funny to think about, but I bet, I'm pretty sure they weren't thinking about it. Also, I just love this because back when I first played it, I thought those were zombies, and nope, that's just the way uh, it is. And here we got a red herb. Uh, they don't do really anything. They just kind of enhance the power of a green herb when you combine it. To make it like a really super duper herb. Which is kind of cool. And uh, we're gonna go to the room across. And we're gonna get an ink ribbon and some uh, bazooka rounds, which I think we're gonna need when we go up against the snake. Uh, you don't have to fight the snake, but I kind of want to, because yeah. back and we gotta put some stuff back. That's my fault. I'm just moving my mic because I can't. Why am I doing this way? We gotta go downstairs. We gotta meet that bastard that bit me. Excuse me, zombie. Gotta run past you. Gotta put the, uh, do I have a green herb to combine with this with? Mm, looks like I don't. As what, that's cool. Uh, we're gonna put the ink ribbon here. I'm gonna put the, uh, clip and the lighter here. And we're actually gonna go get the other herb. The other, uh, crest. And then we're gonna deal the stuff with Richard. zombie that was that's in there later we're, we're just gonna get the crest and we're gonna get to Richard <laughs> now as a kid this is the part because I didn't know what was going on but now I know what to do and yeah. <laughs> mm. I gotta do the infant one Newborn baby, infant, lively boy, young man. <coughs> Middle aged and old man, and then death. By the way, lively is actually supposed to be lovely. But that's the spe spelling thing. <coughs> of a bold looking old man. We'll push it. And he's got a fucking epic beard. Like that beard is amazing. 
my husband, if you're watching this, you need to cosplay as that guy. And there is a message. Give me the peace of death, and I'll give you the joy of life. There's a switch below. Will you push it? Yes. Now the music in this scene is just so ominous and I love it. It kind of sounds like you failed kind of music, which is kind of funny. But no, it's, it's the right one. If you fail, all these crows come after you. If you shoot, all these crows come after you. And, yeah. That's not, it's not great to deal with it right now at, at all. Actually, they're kind of annoying. But yeah, we got a we got the other crest, and uh, we're gonna go do the stuff with Richard. Which Richard is a guy with top quality voice acting. Let me tell you, if you thought Barry was a bit Barry's character was a bad like job, you haven't seen nothing yet with Richard. take some health with us because that damn zombie but uh, first we actually gotta get some uh, more health so we're gonna take the handgun and we're gonna go deal with some dogs now when it comes to zombie dogs I prefer the handgun it just works better for me We got another clip in there so we can combine that. Wallpaper in this hallway always is always pretty bad. I don't know, just the decor in this house is just ranges from kind of beautiful to kind of ugly. Maybe it's just the the thing of the time, but I don't know. But we got some herbs over here that. Gotta put you down, buddy. Yeah, I'm still in fine. And yes, we are going to be taking all these herbs, which means we got to backtrack. But it's very important to get health in this game. Trust me. Speaking of trust me, uh, Jake the Snake Roberts, he's awesome. Now, if you combine all three, you get another really big herb. But personally, I only prefer to just combine two because you want more health in this game. And if you just combine two green herbs, it'll give you a, a full enough health. But obviously, the uh, green and uh, blue and uh, red one is the best one. We will be uh, seeing some blue herbs soon, uh, but yeah, no, I do not want to use that. I almost, I almost used it on accident. But I think we got all the herbs, so we can get out of here. I don't want to deal with you, so have a good one. Now there is another room that I want to go into. And I just remember we don't have enough items. I always forget that. 
But yeah, this is the uh, very first Let's Play of Resident Evil that I've ever done on my channel. And it's kind of awesome because this is my this is the best series that I've ever played. And I just have so much passion for this. I love it so much. And uh, if you guys have never played this game and you want to use this as a guide, feel free. And uh, I'll feel flattered. Uh, especially you, my asthma, if you ever decide to be like, you know what, I'm going to buy a PlayStation 1 or 2 and get Resident Evil 1, you can use my guide and uh, follow along. And uh, before we get to the Richard thing, uh, I'm just going to go and uh, deal with some other stuff. Uh, yeah, we'll do the Richard stuff with the big snake. In here. Fun times. Getting a uh, drink of water. Before we move on. Pictures are also kind of weird in this game. Like the pictures on the wall, like some of it just doesn't make sense. Like I mentioned, the one with the uh, bathroom with the penis head. That one just looks off. These ones are kind of cool because you got a picture of a uh, cool looking castle, a nice looking lady over there. I don't even know what the hell that is. And the one in the middle next to the, behind the statue just looks like a weird, uh, scary picture. And uh, that one looks cool, but can't really make out what it is other than a gravestone. Probably a ghost. There's different versions of Resident Evil 1 on PlayStation. Uh, there is the uh, long box one, which I am not playing. I do have the long box one. I just felt like playing the uh, dual case version. And there's nothing different. It's just a re-release, and we use all of all that, so we don't need that key anymore. Weird ass statue just in the middle of whatever the hell this room is. Another clip. Oh. Well, that was quick. Usually it takes a lot for them to go down, but. And we got more shotgun ammo. Hell yeah, we're taking that. to the closet or the dress up room or whatever you want to call this room we got a little zombie that's just crawling his way over to me uh, feel bad for the guy but we're gonna get these two herbs we're gonna get the fuck out of here These two and have a good one, zombie. He's like, wait, oh wait, we got also uh, I believe some ink ribbons. We're gonna take those because saving is crucial, and we're gonna save before we uh, go and uh, do anything with Richard, or maybe uh, before the uh, snake. How have you guys been been doing? I've been doing great. I had a pretty good day actually. 
even though it's nighttime for me. Uh, but by the time this is uploaded, it's probably daytime. But yeah, I've had a good day. If uh, there's any games you want me to do a let's play of, uh, definitely check out my PS2 and the PS4 collection video because I'm willing to do those. We got some more herbs. I wish I could do live streaming, but unfortunately my internet is just not able for me to do any kind of live streams, and that's unfortunate. But this is the next best thing for me to do video game videos. And here we have the best acting in this game, besides Barry Burton, of course. Enjoy. Richard! What happened? Jill, this house is dangerous. There are terrible demons. Ouch! You're wounded. What kind of demon attacked you? It was a huge snake and also poisonous. Ugh. Poisonous? Oh no. Richard, hold on. There is serum. Oh no. I should have brought some with me. No problem. I'll go and get it. Thanks. I mean, to be fair, it was kind of your fault for not bringing some, but I mean, you didn't think there was going to be in here. But whatever. But yeah, Richard, such great voice act. You can definitely tell he's experienced. You can definitely tell that he was not given it. He was. He had some practice before giving being given, given a script. And we're going to go see Bub. We haven't seen Bub in a while. If you forgot who Bub is, he's in this room. He's a zombie we didn't kill. But we did kill his friend. So that kind of makes us assholes, but I mean, it is what it is, you know? And the ticking is gone in that clock, so that is awesome. We are actually going to save right here, and we're going to start preparing for the fight with uh, the snake. So uh, we're going to get the bazooka ready. But uh, first we're going to save and then we're going to fight the first boss of this game. I can save my progress with this ink ribbon. And I will. I actually did a practice run uh, today, so we're gonna erase this file right here. Now, yawn. The the big snake is not terribly impossible. He's just kind of annoying because he is poisonous and he's a big ass snake. We're also going to take the shotgun. Oh, we got shells. I forgot. radio speaking of radio uh such a shame that zack Ryder was released he was he was a great wrestler and i wish he was still in wwe and had a big push but hopefully uh we get to see him do some better things elsewhere maybe AEW, maybe maybe even nwa power who knows Sorry about that. 
Sorry about that. <coughs> Sorry about that, I'm fine. actor of this entire game, besides Barry Burton. <clears throat> What's kind of funny is that uh, Jill in this game, she didn't actually, uh, the actor of Jill didn't actually want to be there and she, she just did not want to be there and it was kind of obvious. Action scenes, it's like she just does not look happy and she phoned it in apparently. Uh, that's just a rumor. I don't know if that's actually true or not. But, uh, Wang did a really good video on uh, the actresses for Jill Valentine. Alright, Richard, how are you doing? Here's the serum! Here's the serum! Richard, hold on! I'll give you a shot now! Jill! Here's my radio. You should keep it. I'm... No! No! Richard! Jill, be careful. Uh, uh. Such a pity. We gotta go get the uh, key, because that's the... Uh, key to unlocking Yon's little area. That zombie is not there anymore. but we're not gonna find out we're just gonna go straight into the snake and get the last crest that we need Honestly. But yeah. Come on out, you big ass bitch.
back into his hole. But yep, we are poisoned, it looks like. I believe there is a there is some shotgun ammo here. Now in the uh, in the remake, uh, Richard <coughs> Richard actually does help you in the uh, fight against uh, the snake, which is kind of cool, and you get a better shotgun. But unfortunately, that doesn't happen in this game. Am I poisoned? Give me the serum. This is actually my favorite uh, piece in the song. It's actually Rebecca's theme song. <coughs> <clears throat> you know, Barry is a nice guy, and he carried us all the way over here, but he couldn't take out these zombies for us. But uh, I think I'll end it <coughs> when we get that uh, thing unlocked and uh, this hour and, tw and 20 minute uh, let's play. And, uh, we're definitely going to do part two. It depends. But uh, so then I got to do uh, some other series. In this month, so I'm definitely going to be speedy, hopefully. But we all know with me and schedules, it's kind of a pain in the ass. And uh, I'm sorry I left last month. Uh, I was dealing with some stuff, but I am better now. And I am so happy that I get to do a let's play of one of my favorite games of all time. Now, there is a good, we're, we are going to be dealing with a zombie. And a zombie dog. And yeah. Oh shit. That actually made me jump. How dare you. We should be fine against that dog. But uh, by the time I part two happens, I'll be fully healed. Oh. 
Come on, buddy. And in here we do, uh, we put in all the crests <clears throat> in a really weird way. I don't know why. I don't, whoever invented the locking system in this mansion is just a weird guy, but I would love to have it in my own house. Gotta use all these crests just to use the bathroom. Now, I do thank you a whole lot if you watched it to the end. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see this journey continue. And uh, comment down below on what you thought of this Let's Play and just the game in general. And I will see you.